queridos amigos. Hello, my friends. Wilmer Dominguez Rema. Wilmer Dominguez Rema from Intimus. It's the 20th of July on 2019. And I am recalling my friend from Argentina that is now in Oregon transmitting. He's always out in the uh, forest. And so today, since I have no uh, official labor, I went to the forest because luckily, fortunately, I live in an area of Barcelona that is near the forest, the park that's known as Coserola. And here we have lots of natural wildlife, lots of it, lots of wildlife. And at the end you can see a road, a freeway, but we are actually in a forest. And even there's javalier, and, but there is certain activities that are natural. It is not completely uh, depreciated. So today, my friends, I would like to touch on a matter of what happened to President Manuel López Obrador in the city of or in the town of San Luis de Potosí. Upon returning from an acti arduous activity of labor, as he always does, he goes to rest in some um, place. But so a group or a mob, actually, of people that were indignant, with reason or without reason, I'm not discussing that, but the fact that a mob, like a large group of people, interrupted the rest of, presi of the president, didn't even allow him to actually get to his resting place and basically chased him around there. It's actually shameful. I am profoundly feeling indignant because of this that has occurred to the president, because he doesn't deserve it. He does not deserve this type of things. Really, it is unbelievable that they are not conscious of a people's how much good he is doing that President Andres Manuel López Obrador is doing for Mexico. No other president in the current uh, era, or let's say in the last 50 years, no president has loved his people so much and has given of himself so much with so much sacrifice for his people. And the minimum that that man can require from the Mexican people is respect. And that's the minimum. So, therefore, he, in a voluntary manner, in order to save money for the people, had decided not to have personal protective detail. And that sacrifice that he is doing, at the risk of his safety, my friends, has been taken advantage of by some people that may not be bad, but they are most profoundly unconscious to be uh, surrounding him and not letting him rest and demanding that they wake him up in the middle of the, or take the time of the night to demand it be handled immediately. The rest of the worker uh, is sacred. This needs to be understand this deeply in the people of Mexico. The rest of the laborers that are fighting to get this country to move forward, that, that are trying to take, to take a hospital or people, people that are working hard are Fighters. These fighters are that we need our rest as the most sacred thing because that's what gives us the strength to continue the, with the battle. This is lamentable that some people that were being manipulated or by their own initiative 
have been joined together outside the hotel where the president rested and interrupted and entered his home where he was resting or staying. And that is a embarrassing spe uh, spectacular event that is going to be going through the whole world. Those images, I won't even put them on here because due to respect of, of, to the president, but you will soon find out through other media. And, and it is their ammunition for their opposers. Those type of things. Now they're going to say, oh, that why doesn't he have a detail? Uh, that if he had a protective detail, this would not have happened. But this discussion is out of uh, area. The president will continue to do exactly as he has done. What needs to happen or change is the attitude and the conscience of the people. And with all respect, and I will say those that if they have needs and that if their rights are being stomped on and their liberties are being whatever problem that you have, the first instance should be the municipal president. And if you couldn't, and after trying that, and you tried, and it has not been attended to, the next step would be is the governor of the state. And if that doesn't work, and you aren't able to solve the problem, then you can go to the federal government. But don't be doubtful that if your petition is not is just and you are claiming are rightful and they're not just uh, defenses that are for privileges uh, then re the president or his secretary or whoever he appoints to it will act on your behalf and Anybody who would not behave against well against the injustice would, but do not allow this to bother the um, president and his family that are accompanying him because he even works on weekends and perhaps on some um, trips his family may accompany him so he can spend a few moments with him. Imagine, my friends, do not dehumanize him. Well, I won't deal with this matter. I am profoundly indignant about this. I make a call out to the Mexican people to be, if you have needs, um, don't go to this, of these late hours to interrupt the president, to disturb his rest. That cannot be in any way. Absolutely not. No, no, no. Don't take that route. That your, so that your demands be met. In any way, we need to become accustomed to respect. And the rest of people, of all the human beings, is sacred. Sacred. So that's lots of families that have small children at a certain time of the night. If they are very young, at 7 p.m. maximum, there has to be silence in the home so that the child can rest. They cannot be bothered with the TV or loud music. Not even the day they have if they have a uh, party, if there's children in the home, the rest of people has a time, is the activity of the man for which he restores his energy for the work during the day. In the night, when normally all of us rest, there's a 15, 20% sleep during the day. Police, médicos, enfermeras, uh, nurses, doctors, bread makers that work at night y que de día. and that sleep during the day. But 
whatever our seeds are, obviously it's better, 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 better between 9 and 10 to 5 or 6 in the morning. Those are the natural hours for the human to rest. And young children need more than that to sleep. And those have to be total peace and tranquility. Do not, uh, neighbors cannot be making parties and keeping everybody awake and not letting them rest. If you want to go and have a party, go to a, a a discotheque or an adequate place for that activity and do your party there. But in your home, if we're going to have a family meeting at a certain time, and then after 10, you lower the volume and you be discreet as to not to bother. That's respect. And we need to start learning that type of attitudes to life, to respect other people. It's fundamental absolutely fundamental. And so there, there's another part of the population that does not understand that. And they need to start to learn it and comprehend it. Let's act like a teacher with his children, like teaching with these aspects to the people like they were a child because they haven't opened their conscience. And they still, is, their conscience is kind of asleep. And they need to wake up their conscience, it is now time, it is this time that has arrived to wake your conscience at every level and starting with the most elemental and basic, that one that says that you take the consideration of other people, same as yours, and I need rest and I respect. So do they. No one gets in my house by force or a violent way, so I won't enter someone in a violent way or forceful way. And what this group of Mexicans do to enter the home of the president to try to speak to him is not do possible, doable. If I want to talk something with my friend, I will not enter his home while he's asleep by force because we would not like that for someone to do that to us so dear my friends dear Mexicans and of every person in the world it's for all of you in the world that things need to be solved through the established means and Mexico now has justice at least from the government federal down, it is becoming the structure, the basic structures are solid for a state of right that is truly democratic. I live in Spain, and here in Spain, the president, Pedro Sanchez, fills his mouth and he speaks of a state of right, but there doesn't exist a state of right. It does not exist. Here, we have no state of rights. They've made the people believe it because they say it all the time in the TV that these are fifis and chayoteros. There's a few rare exceptions. Private or national channels, there's exceptions. But still, there is no actual free alternative press here, like there is in Mexico. And, those, and the YouTubers that are here, such as the, pe the people from Mexico, and uh, my gratefulness to them, to these YouTubers, and including Ricardo Belma in Cardone, in Colombia, all of these, but here, in Catalonia and Spain, there still is no, a no of power web of YouTubers to stop the uh, corruption in Spain. If you take a look at what's happening in Mexico, I can't explain it even here now, but what's happening in Mexico, Rick, is 
that is the same as to what was there's corruption that is unbelievable you know, like in other times there was depravity like say the Romans the Caesars but that was nothing compared to what's happening now because the immense richness, the riches of humanity, the, the immense riches that they kidnapped and harvested for the a minority, what did they do with it? They take it away and steal it from society and hold it so they can speculate to crown other nations and other companies to dominate. That's what, it's a sickness because it's generally or un, understood to be an illness. And my friends know that I speak of this in illness. And the President AMLO has also spoken of this. It's, it's a desire that they can control for accumulating wealth. It is not love. It's like a drug. It's like a substance that it's outside the body and that it needs that substance to survive. It's the same with these that adore money. They are sick. Definitely not well. And this opportunity, my friend, I could not pass it up to give you this message because really, this should not could not should not occur again. And my friends, go. I call you all that you respect and the rest of the Mr. President and especially in all people, and the whole world, you should let respect the res the, and, uh, of all the world. Please, let's start to value our body needs to rest and restore itself, our physical self, which has been uh, waste, uh, wasted during the day intellectually, morally, with physical activity, etc. Any activity we've done throughout the day wears out our physical body. And the architect of our body that maintains it same is the phases of life in our body needs to be restored. And they restore our health and so for this to occur, we need to let the body rest in peace. Silence, title, a total and absolute. Please, then, respect the rest of all people. And it's sacred. Thank you. And so, so we'll do another one later uh, regarding this other matters, but I say I'm just giving you a vision of how beautiful.